Welcome to my channel, Learn UX ID, where we talk about UX best design, UI design, typefaces, and design in general. So the first thing which comes to my mind is that a lot of designers, even myself, I struggled a lot uh, with selecting typefaces, accurate typefaces for my designs. Uh, combining typefaces is still a problem, but uh, I have, uh, you know, uh, kind of get a liking to typefaces a lot. So in this video, I'm going to share with you some of the new typefaces I found, Google typefaces, which are really, really good geometric and they are a good fit for your next mobile app or UI design project. So let's get started. So first one is honest. Uh, it is really, really honest, very, very sleek, um, straight, easily readable. Readability is very, very great. You can see over here, modern. It has some modern, modern, um, you know, thing to it it has very very big x height so you can see over here the small letters are very very tall this is a great thing for readability so it is going to be very good on websites on mobile apps on smaller sizes you can see over here this is available on google font so this is my font of the day uh, honest i'm going to use it in some project very very soon uh, I really love how it has a very angled kind of K, uh, kind of like a chair or something like that. So uh, you can see work at home and on your living. This is the typeface I uh, tested. Next one is Gabarito. Gabarito is also a bit kind of uh, humanist and it has some style, which I really love. Like you can see over here in the N, the uh, the curve of the n at the top then i really love how this a is it is kind of human human kind of thing that is very very uh geometric uh, geometric and humanist mix so you can see over here o uh, o is actually very very uh, geometric it is almost a perfect o also the d but i really love it it is a lot better than using sans serif or open sense okay so sorry open sense so it is a lot better than using open sense uh, it has a good vibe to it i really love it yes so you can see over here okay so the next one is rem it has a bit kind of very slashy kind of approach <laughs> and you can see over here it has some handwritten type of style like this a over here which is very old hand letter kind of thing. The style is mixed with some, you can see a sans serif. And here we have uh, this R and A, which is very, very strange. Uh, the D, the top of the D, you can see it is like uh, a knife or maybe a sword. Uh, so this is a different typeface. You can use it maybe in the headings or maybe have something that is more like tech, a new tech coming thing like that maybe something new uh, let's uh, okay so this one is Brie College grotesque I'm not sure why I love grotesque typefaces but this one is really really good it has some styles you can use it um, in uh, ways like you can use it on healthy living kind of websites uh, herbal uh, products or all green kind of thing, saving the planet or something like that. So you can see over here, I'm using it on eat healthy and live happily. Uh, and it has a lot of styles, one, two, uh, I think six styles. So this is a um, very, very lovely typeface. You can see this G and you can see there are uh, small parts over here that are uh, used to call ink traps. You can see over here that the area inside this so let's zoom in so areas over here so these are called i think these are called ink traps uh, but i really love this style i really love this this is very very uh different and very very lovely typeface so i hope that you are going to use all these four typefaces i teach about user experience design and ui design on my website learnuxid.com uh, you can visit there and find out about my courses. Uh, okay, so that is all. I hope if you have used any of these new typefaces or you are planning to use, do write something in the comments below. 
I will see you soon in another video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.